hello uh, so this is uh, an infant radiant warmer it's of model IR 200 so uh, this machine was reported not to be heating up that's what the user said and uh, because my first thought was that the heaters here, this heating element was faulty, so I replaced it. Oh, this machine was powering but not heating. It would just be on but no heat would be generated, so I replaced the heaters. But the problem uh, wasn't solved. So I had to go into further troubleshooting uh, a lot of it actually it has taken me a long while so this that you see here the, the connectors to the heater yes and these are for this is a connection to the alarm system this is the connection to the light this light here so when I replace the heaters and the machine was still not working I had to go to the controls so what I did I powered the machine and measured the voltage at the terminals of this heater and turned out there was no voltage which means these cables were not bringing in power to the to the heaters that's why it was not heating up so the power board is the control board is supposed to be here but uh, I removed it. It's this one that is dismantled. Uh, so these are two control boards. One of them I got from uh, uh, these two. One is from uh, a very functional. Actually, this one is this is the functional one. A very functional warmer. So I used it to troubleshoot this one after a series of troubleshooting uh, so what I did I would I started with this uh, power board I got the power board from the functional one and put it on the malfunctioned one then got this and put it here and the functional one still worked while the non-functional one still didn't work which means the power board had no issue and I came to the control board, the one in the middle. See, I uh, swapped them, and the same thing happened. The function one worked, the non function one still didn't work, which means these two didn't have any issue. I came to the display board, still switched to them, and the same issue happened. The function one worked, the non function one didn't work, and that meant to me that. All the boards are fine. Now the problem was on this panel, this display panel. It's this that I've removed. And uh, I disconnected it and had to troubleshoot the, board, the panel alone. Uh, so this panel comes attached with this. This is what I removed. You can see from this one it comes like this but I had to remove this because there are some connectors here the commands you put here are run through, are run through this connector so uh, this has no problem the problem is here just this small thing and I, what I did, I followed up the wires that come up to here, and they were all fine. None was broken. So what I did was to first measure the, the continuity between each of these, between one of these and the rest, then the other and the rest, then the other and the rest. So I checked the continuity between each of the components. And... Uh, 
turned out there was no continuity. My multimeter was not making an alarm. This alarm is what I'm talking about. It was not doing that. So I thought it's fine. But when I looked at it uh, under light like this, I realized that there is that part that I've scratched a bit. Yes, right there. I realized there was some, I think, that that was between these last two wires down. If you see that I've scratched there. And when I measured the continuity between these two wires, the last two inside, yes, the alarm was not sounding, but it was giving a value, which means there was some bit of connection between these two. So I had to use a very fine uh, metal to remove out that dust or whatever was connecting those two. And now, if I measure the continuity between these last two cables, uh, it doesn't give any value here. So I'm hoping that the problem has been resolved. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to reassemble this, connect back everything and test it.